yeah, you're right about that. You know, and that's why like me, when I did BJJ, that's all I did. I did, I did BJJ for six years. So I had a pretty uh, good foundation. And then from there, like, and, 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 uh, and then from there, I remember like my, uh, one of, one of the clubs that I was at for BJJ, they were offering judo lessons once a week and it was judo for BJJ, but it wasn't, uh, it was fun, but it didn't really get me all that much better to, to tell you the truth. Like, yeah, you know, I could throw some guys, but you know, it wasn't, um, looking back now, knowing what I know, uh, because now I'm a brown belt in judo and I've competed and all. So now looking back now, I'm like, yeah, you know, it wasn't really the best use of my time, to be honest. And after when I finally like left BJJ, I did that for six years. <clears throat> then I went to, to judo. That's when I really just focused on judo. And then like my, my skill level, you know, progressively steadily and progressively went, uh, went up and I was able to transition. I was able to use my BJJ skills in, uh, in judo newaza, you know, so to speak. So I, I, I think you're right about that. You touch on a good point. If you do both at the same time, it's going to take you forever to get good. And there, yeah, but I, I would say, um, like, for example, now, if we go back to, to the point of competition, if let's say they're both black belts and one decided I want to add some judo because he has a good, very good base. If you throw a black a BJJ black belt and they, they have very good guard recovery or at least put you in a position that you're not 100% comfortable with, it's not worth it. To do mm. all this work for a takedown, then he's just going to end up you know, having his guard, the stuff that he loves. Eh. Yeah, yeah. I think that it has to be super adapted. Like once, let's say you, you're, you become a, you're a BJJ black belt and now you want to improve on your takedown game. The problem is like you would have to focus on judo for a very long time before you're actually able to pull it off. So you would have to have a coach, somebody who, who's, uh, who, who has, let's say, for example, a judo black belt and, and a BJJ black belt so he could, he could bridge the gap. He could show you uh, takedowns that you could really work on that would work for you uh, also in, in competition. So you don't just... Um, you know, John Danaher was talking about this. He was talking about um, uh, Tomo, Tomo Nage. Uh, he was talking about for, for you know, like takedowns for, um, uh, for, for BJJ, you know, but like from, from taking stuff from techniques from judo. So Tomo, Tomo, Tomo Nage, oh, or do so in Nage. Sumigeshi, uh, and yeah. uh, there was something else he, he mentioned, but I forgot which one. But uh, essentially those two things. And there was another takedown. Oh, oh, uh, ankle picks. Yes. Ankle picks. So he was talking about those three takedowns uh, as a basis that to, to um, develop your, your takedown game for BJJ, because those are like, you're already um, um, kind of somewhat doing those uh, techniques slash positions in your BJJ game already, you know? So it's not something completely foreign to you. Whereas if uh, we try to teach you to do uh, Ushimada, yeesh, that's complicated. That's complicated. Years and not necessarily going to land you in the position that you want. Yeah. Yeah. Cause it's, uh, cause now all of a sudden, like if you, um, like if you throw somebody for <clears throat> in a BJJ competition, well, ideally you got to stay standing up. You got to stay standing up and then right away you want to land, uh, depending on the technique, you're going to want to have to land in, uh, in side control or yeah, upper, yeah. Yeah, upper bot side control or, you know, worst case, case. Like a tame or yeah, yeah, exactly. Or, or, you know, like if you, mm, you do something and you land in half guard, that's fine. But if you do something and then, uh, you have the habit of uh, rolling, you know, rolling with the opponent, because in judo, like you want, you know, you want your epon. So you're always rolling with the Roll. dude. And then yeah, crocodile rolls are, are, are dangerous, but, but Hey, you know, I just thought of something, <clears throat> but if you're, if you're training for self-defense though, what do you think of training two times judo a week and then two times BJJ? Now mixing it up makes sense if your goal is not to, um, um, to, to compete. The, I, I wanted to make a disclaimer that, uh, you know, if you're a BJJ black belt and I said it's not worth it to train judo, talking specifically in the competition aspect, if you're going up against a BJJ black belt, I'm not talking that your judo training is going to be wasted, all of it, obviously not. But um, for self-defense, yeah, but uh, like, even, I would say, self-defense purposes, I would say 
start only judo. Uh, you're going to immediately, you're going to learn to stay comfortable on your feet, standing up. And two, they will give you the basis of Neiwaza because first of all, on the street, you don't want to be on the ground for too long. And also you want to learn the basics of pinning, um, the basis of like uh, Shinoaza or choking. Um, you're not going to do Juji Gatame. Again, there's legal ramifications, whatever, but the basis of pinning of Saikomi are found in Judo. So for beginners that don't know anything, either PJJ or Judo, and you want self-defense in mind, start with Judo. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, um, it's a funny thing, but on my channel, like, there's uh, there's so many people that write in and tell me, like, oh, you know, uh, you know I was thinking of doing something, you know, and uh, I was thinking of BJJ, but after watching your videos, I'm going to go do judo. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you know and and the truth is like um I, I agree with you there like if you if you want to do self-defense then if, if your if your goal is self-defense then yeah judo is a better option because you know every fight starts standing and you're going to develop better habits for overall for for you know self-defense and and the funny thing is that after watching a whole bunch of your videos i come to realize now because me compared to you in terms of uh, knowledge of, of uh, grappling history, like I'm a meathead. <laughs> no, and no. Everyone has their focuses. Like you, you, you focus on the fitness aspect, the longevity. Uh, you know, John Danaher wants to win the competition. Like everyone has their own uh, like concentration. I take it more of the, of the, um, like the academic side of martial arts, if you want to say. I don't know. But I mean, that's not, that's not necessarily saying you're a meathead. You just have a different focus. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I feel better now. Thanks. 